finally, we meet the tarnished, the would-be lord. Oh my. Why the long face? I fear that you were previously acquainted with this vessel. Well, that is most unfortunate. For he is dead. As for his flesh, he gave it to me. Shabriri, I hope you can make your peace with that. You are about to sacrifice something precious, the life of a fair maiden, that you would toss into the fiery forge, only so that you may be lord. What a horrible thing to ponder. Your ascendancy requires her sacrifice, whether she wishes it or not. But how would the lord, crowned so, be looked upon? Chosen tarnished and would-be lord, dare to tread the path of true rigor, spare the poor girl, and singe your own flesh in her stead. If you are prepared to show resolve and attain lordship through righteous hardship, then heed the words of I, Shabriri. Chosen, tarnished, and would be lord, descend into the depths far below the earth tree capital. Seek audience with the three fingers and the flame of frenzy. If you inherit the flame of frenzy, your flesh will serve as kindling, and the girl can be spared, setting you on the righteous path of lordship, the path of the lord of chaos. Burn the earth tree to the ground and incinerate all that divides and distinguishes. Ah, oh, may chaos take the world. May chaos take the world. think we'd meet in such a place. What could your purpose possibly... No. I know well enough who you are. And what I know is good enough for me. Call upon me again. In battle. Should you have the need. I'm searching for a fort to the north of the ruins. I heard the master of the fort was given a medallion that allowed him to visit the Halig tree. Indeed, I believe that is where Melania will be found. The Halig tree is hidden somewhere in these northern lands. something I'd like to say. My purpose was given to me by my mother, but now I act of my own volition. I have set my heart upon the world that I would have, regardless of my mother's designs. I won't allow anyone to speak ill of that, not even you. It is I, Natena. We're almost there. Castle Sol lies just off to the north, where the other medallion is housed. It will grant passage to the land of the Halig Tree.
I see that you've stayed the path of champions. This is your usual reward. Please, take it. Perhaps you are ready. Might you see our lord? Our lord will no doubt welcome you. Another kindred spirit, treading the path of champions. Yes, as it should be. Now, close your eyes for a moment. I will transport you to the Lord's Chamber. Farewell, then. May your visit be fruitful.
You... It's true, then. You've defeated our lord. No. I must thank you. Our lord was yet weak. You have taught us that. Defeat is not the end. Our lord is immortal, and will one day rise again. Stronger. Until then, I must stay the path, and do my part. I will leave the Volcano Manor before long. I suggest you do the same. I will miss these encounters. The champion who walks the tainted path shines all the more. I always was an admirer. So, you killed Rikard. I harbor you no ill will. The strong take. Such is our code. Even he was prepared to meet a wretched end when he first took blasphemy unto his very flesh. But any road, the Volcano Manor is no more. Though we may yet fulfill an old promise. We hunted our own kind and took what was theirs. And with everything in hand, the time has come to rise against the Erd Tree. O oh, greater will, hear my voice. I am the recusant Bernal, inheritor of my brother's will, and you will fall to my blade. We refuse to become your pawns. Consider this fair warning. Now you've gone and killed Rikard. <laughs> you scheming little bastard. Cripes, you make this nonsense seem, well, <laughs> less nonsensical. Perhaps a Tarnished will be Elden Lord after all. But for now, this manor is finished. The demigod beast is slain, and Tanith has lost her head. A fine mess. But how else could it end? When Daddy Ambition's head over heels courting Lady Blasphemy. <laughs> well, here I am, untethered once again. Goodbye, my friend. You're not willing to kill me, are you? <laughs> You've always been so kind and uncompromising. I suppose I knew in my heart of hearts how kind and uncompromising you always were. Bit of a slip up, that's all. 
I should have stuck to what I know best. No matter. I know I, I can trust you. Gullible, yes, but uh, a good soul. Make certain that Tanith gets this. Oh, it's, it's nothing, it's just... Makes me sick to see her all bent out of shape. Come on, Tanith, back on your high horse where you belong. You're able then? Then I can rest easy, my friend. You... Allow me some time. Our Lord's carcass is vast, and not easily consumed. Dear Rykard, please, find purchase within me. I wish to be your serpent, your family. One day, let us devour the gods together. What is it? I have no need of that. I must continue devouring my beloved lord. demand repentance. Buff up your boy. All of it. Mm. Wait. Don't tell me. Is that you? Oh, Christ. Please, wait. I surrender. I surrender. I swear. since I've seen you. I didn't even realize it was you. Took you for a demi-human or some such. Hey, you know how it is. Just an innocent mistake. Water under the bridge, eh? Back to business as usual. Hell's bells. This bandit business is hardly what it's cracked up to be. Especially if we keep running into the likes of you. Hmm. Maybe I'll set up another shop with the lads. Finally made it, eh? And just in time for the grand reopening of Patch's Emporium, where you won't need a refund, because everything is top-notch. What do I have to beg? Give us a coin or two next time around, will you? Echoes of Queen Marika linger here as well. Shall I share them with you? In Marika's own words, Hark, brave warriors. Hark, my Lord Godfrey. We commend your deeds. Guidance hath delivered ye through each ordeal to the place ye stand. Put the giants to the sword and confine the flame atop the mount. Let a new epoch begin, an epoch glistening with life. Brandish the Elden Ring for the age of the Erd Tree. Ah, nice to meet you. 
to see you. I can't believe you've come all this way. I've been gripped by a terrifying thought. The rhythms and calculus of the Master's finger betray a suspicion of the holism of the Golden Order. A conceit, I am afraid, that cannot be overlooked. Oh, but how could this be? I dread to even entertain the possibility. But somehow, I cannot cast aside my doubts about the Master. Tell me, have I simply lost my head? Only, if the Master were true to the Golden Order, why would he think to breach this forbidden mount of fire? Oh, Master, put my mind at ease. Dispel these fearsome thoughts. I want to place my trust in you, to be your scribe. <laughs> What is it? Ah, I see you've laid your hands on the other secret medallion. I'm glad to see my council has borne fruit. But the honor of the deed is yours alone. You've made more of yourself than Ensha has. Now, more importantly, both secret medallions are in your hands. I suppose you'd like to know then. What awaits you on the path ahead? Me too, my friend. Me too. I wait with bated breath.